not good at cracking jokes. To me, crack jokes. <laughs> 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 So guys, I've got here uh, a few things I'd like you to look at. You know, uh, in church, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of funny things that go on. There's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, we, we poke fun at some of the, the, the things that, that are kind of repetitive, the things that maybe kind of stand out to us. And as church people, we kind of collect these ideas. And I've got some of them for you to look at. There's uh, a, a set of church memes, if you will, for, for church insiders to get. Um, here's one that has nothing to do with church, but it's just the first one on my phone. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that one. Uh, King Arthur there. Yeah, yeah, so Monty Python. All right, so here's the first one. Me trying to find where the Bible says, like and share and God will bless you. <laughs> you know, we have, I mean, I'm guilty of this. Not not like trying to say, God will bless you if you like and share, but I post a lot of share stuff on social media, like I, a lot. And then you hunt me down to share it. <laughs> yeah, do I'm like, hey, have you shared the, have you, have you, uh, yeah, I do that. So, um, by the way, if, if you would want to share this, that'd be great. <laughs> um, we like sharing. All right, I got another one for you. When the pastor says, bring your problems to the altar. You're, you're a problem, sir. <laughs> You better be careful there. <laughs> well, so this reminds me of that. I can't remember if this actually happened or it's a preacher story, but they were they were preaching on marriage and enriching your marriage, and the invitation song was "Out of My Bondage," and the like everybody was cracking up because it was just so funny. Um, all right, this one: the face you make during the sermon when someone yells out, "That's right," and you know it's for them. <laughs> now that's that, I mean. This is something that we struggle with. I mean, they're in a real way, like hypocrisy, and we all struggle with this. That that, that we 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 aren't what we should be, right? Oh, well, and I think a little bit of a judgment is something we might also yeah. struggle yeah. with. There, <laughs> we judge the people who are struggling with that. That's right. All right. Uh, when the preacher says they are about to finish, and they preach for thirty more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I've never actually seen you be guilty of that. Uh, it's maybe once or twice. No, not not often. Uh, every once in a while, I'll be like in conclusion and then go for a while. That does happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I should watch that. <laughs> when the pastor decides the whole church needs to fast. I think in this church there might be rioting. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, a lot food. of food. Yeah, yeah well, food. which I enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, all right. A list of people volunteering for children's ministry. <laughs> this hurts. This hits me right in the sore of the heart. So uh, if you're seeing this, uh, this meme is only funny to you because it's true. Okay. Uh, we we always desperately need people yes. in our in our children's Please ministry. Help me. All right. Uh, let's see here. Ah. Who said pastoring a church is stressful? I'm 42 and feeling great. <laughs> he looks exactly like you. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Was, yeah. I mean, uh, I think I, I might have a few Some years great on him. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. A few years on him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, one does not simply leave church without their mom talking to everyone. I sympathize with this one. I remember when I was a kid, my mother would stay in the church for hours, it seemed like, after church was over. Well, I mean, one doesn't simply leave church without Brian talking about Okay, everyone. well, I'm, that's true. I, did, I talked to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, learned it from somebody. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's learned it. It's, um, but kids, if you're, if you're waiting for mom to go to the car, you're not alone. It's something we all kind of experience. <laughs> um, this one reminded me of Reba. Uh, I'll wait to cry in church until it gets real quiet. Prayers. <laughs> Prayers. Yeah, that's right. Prayers are the best time to cry. Yep. That's... Yep. All right, one more. When it's finally Sunday afternoon, I relate. <laughs> I relate to this. Get through. home and just pass out. Yeah, um, and you remember when Reba actually like literally did this? But it wasn't on a Sunday. Well, true, but I mean, it was just like she like for a like, period of two weeks, literally just leaned against like her walker and would fall asleep standing up. It kind of freaked us out a little bit. Yeah, I um, think she just wasn't getting enough sleep at night. Yeah, it was when it was in that nap transition. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, we're really glad that y'all joined us today. We have a lot of things going on within our church. Uh, one of the things I really want us to highlight uh, is this Sunday we have 
uh, the congregational event, and it's the not so newlywed game. It's gonna be a little twist, a little fun, uh, and don't worry, you don't have to participate, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, for everyone and, and kids. You get to make fun of the adults. How often do we actually like encourage right, that? Right. I mean, that, that's just gonna be great. Uh, so we're really excited about that. We'll have a meal right after service and we're gonna have all of that uh, taking place immediately following. Yeah, we've also got our uh, Made to Praise uh, worship ministry on Sunday mornings, 8.30. If you want to participate in that, it's been great. We've been enriching our worship. We've been lifting our voices to God and learning together. It's been a wonderful experience. And if you want to be plugged in, involved in that, utilize your gifts, that is at 8.30 on Sunday morning. Uh, Liz and I uh, would like to invite everybody who's 18 and up, up to I guess 40, uh, and to our young adult night on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. at our house right across the street. Uh, you're welcome to join us there anytime. Yep, and then on Wednesday we have a lot of stuff going on. We have manna and more, which is a free meal at 6. Bring your friends, bring your family, come enjoy some free food. And then following that we have several Bible classes. There's the adult class, there's a wonderful ladies class, there's Kid Street, which is um, the classes for four years old through fourth grade. And um, we also have a ministry for the younger kids and the youth as well. 